want to get a sneak peek at the AI voice generating feature called Overdub in Descript, the revolutionary video and podcast editor? Then keep watching because we're starting right now. Hi, Technomad here, and today we're going to take a look at the overdub feature of Descript. I'll put a link to the original version, uh, the original video I did on Descript, which is just a fantastic program. I don't know why everybody hasn't jumped on this thing. It's ten dollars a month, and it allows you to take video or audio and edit it the same as you would edit a text file. One of its more powerful features that's still in beta is its overdub feature. And I'm very happy to David and all the gang out there. Thank you very much for including me in the beta program. And what overdub is does it allows you to insert words that were missing or you flubbed or whatever, and it will create that word using your own voice, using artificial intelligence. And I actually covered the program, the, the, the company that they bought that does this, I actually covered that like two or three years ago, but in any event. So let's gonna, we're going to take a look at the overdub feature. And to do that, I'm on my Chromebook, but to do that, we're going to need to go to a PC. So we're not going to switch machines. I'm going to use my Shadow PC. I'm going to be doing a video on this shorter than shortly. Shadow PC is a service that basically lets you access a virtual $3,000 window machine, high-end. It's supposed to be used for gaming. I think I've played a couple of games on it, but I mostly use it as a high-end PC to do uh, Adobe Edition or Adobe Premiere, things like that. But I can do them on my Chromebook. So you want to, if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be coming out with a video on that very, very soon. So continuing with Overdub, here is the original file that I read. So this is the script. I read this into a sound recorder and re recorded that audio. So we have things in there like today is Tuesday, the 1st of October, when I obviously wanted to say the 1st of February. We have 21 days before Valentine's Day. And I wanted to say 13. I have some other mistakes in there that were personally put in there. So let's go ahead and open up Descript. So now what we have is the audio file that I read was brought into Descript and it turns it into this text file. Again, I've covered this in the other video. I want to focus on the overdub for today. I've set the playback speed to one and a half just so that we can do it real quick. And I'll play a little bit of it now. Again, this is something that I actually said. Hello and welcome to another podcast. Today is Tuesday, the 1st of October. So just 21 days before Valentine's Day. If you're a podcaster, vlogger, or YouTuber, you really should take a look at Descript. All right. So the first thing I want to change is the 1st of October. I know from using uh, Descript and Overdub that changing October to February is not as good as changing of October to of February. So it has a chance to figure out what's going on. So what we do is we highlight those words, we invoke Overdub, and then we just type in what we want it to say. So of uh, February, I'm going to click overdub. You're going to see it say generating audio. That's where it's going to go off. The AI part comes in. It's going to generate the audio. And then it'll play back a sample and ask us if that's good enough. Today is Tuesday, the 1st of February. So just 21 days. That's fine. And, and in the overdub preview, they ask you to grade it. That's good enough. And if I wanted, you know, is there anything that I would change? Um, maybe the intonation. So we'll go ahead and click that. So now we have uh, we have 21 days. So I'm probably better off to change this to, so again, same thing, bing, bing, bing. And I'll say 13 days, same deal. So just 13 days before Valentine's Day. And again, I'm fine with that. Maybe the intonation we can change. So you get, so that is the most common way that people will be using overdub. Now I can, again, just sort of uh, take this part out. I want to that, take that whole sentence out. That's fine. 
And you can do that in the version of Descript that's available now. The overdub is beta only at this particular point. Let's take a look and see. So when I say I have a button, let's see, really use it myself. I've been using it for quite some time. My voice gets better. We can just get rid of uh, all that part there. Okay, and we want to say instead of eight fingers, we'll change that to five fingers, do an overdub, change the playback speed back to one. Like my hand has five fingers. I can fix it by just... Okay, so I'm going to say okay. Now there was a little bit of... Um, a, a pause in there and I could fix that pause by just bringing that back over so we don't have as, as much of a delay in there okay, and we can try that out again when I say something like my hand has five fingers I can fix it by just correcting the word okay and now we'll just play the whole thing through once hello and welcome to another podcast Today is Tuesday, the 1st of February, so just 13 days before Valentine's Day. If you're a podcaster, vlogger, or YouTuber, you really should take a look at Descript. One of its more powerful features is called Overdub. Since I rarely make mistakes, I don't need to use it myself. When I say something like, my hand has five fingers, I can fix it by just correcting the word. All right, so you get the idea. So that's the most common way that people will be using overdub. Now remember, I can do this with an audio file, audio only, or an audio video file. When you insert things into a video, it inserts a uh, black space in there. So you, you'll have to figure out how to put something in because there's no video for it to, to recreate. So it'll put in a blank, a, a, a black screen for those few seconds. So usually what I do is after I have all this, I find something to over, overwrite that. Now that's one way of using this. The second way of using overdub is to let it do everything. So what I've done here is I typed in, so I didn't say anything. I typed in what I wanted it to say and I let overdub create the entire file. So all of the words it's going to say now, it created itself. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a listen. And his five fingers. Let's come back over here. Hello and welcome to another podcast. If you are a podcaster or YouTuber, you really should take a look at Descript. One of its more powerful features is called overdub. When I say something like, my hand has five fingers, I can fix it by just correcting the word and the advanced artificial intelligence will provide the correct word in my own voice. I've been with them for quite some time and every month the replication of my voice gets better Hello and welcome. Okay, so it still has again. This is beta, though. It's got a it's got a little bit of a robotic sound to it. However, I can live with that, and it gets as I said. This is still in beta, and it just keeps getting better and better and better. And I do foresee very soon that what I will be able to do is create my podcast from a script. Um, so I can come back in and say. Uh, something like, um, so I hit scratch file. And again, tell it to go ahead and do overdub. This is just something else I wanted to say. I like to eat apples. I don't know about you, but dude, that's just getting better and better and better. So let's just play that. Uh, one piece here and again when it's heard in its totality i like that word totality if you are a podcaster or youtuber you really should take a look at these scripts this is just something else i wanted to say i like to eat apples one of its more powerful features is called overdub so check out Descript. you can apply to be part of the beta program um i'm not sure when it's coming out of beta but it's getting it's getting there a little bit more i mean for most for the first example that I gave where you're just trying to switch a word here and there, you can hear that that's fine. For creating content from scratch, you can see they're still working on it, but it's uh, 
ten dollars a month, you can't beat it. Even if you just use it now for its ability to cut out ums and ahs and move things around. Uh, I mean, again, you can't you can't beat it with a can't beat it with a stick. So that's it for now. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe. We're trying to get to ten thousand users. Uh, we got a ways to go. Once we get to 10,000 subscribers, it's going to make it very easier for me to create videos for you guys so I could really use your support. All right. Until the next time, this is Ormond Beckles, a.k.a. the High Tech Nomad, signing out.